Okay, now it's done with the panties, so we gotta stick together here. Just a few more minutes. This actually isn't even all my panties, but it's just the ones that are in my dresser right now. Like I have the other ones that are in the laundry and floating around in drawers that don't belong there. And they're in my car and, you know, don't ask. Okay, this is an orange suede belt and it's really ugly, but I thought I'd use it for something someday. These are the hot little thongs that go to that bra that I never wear. This is a glove, like a half glove. This is an ugly white bra that I work in sometimes with the ugly white panties. These panties are more work panties. They're black. This is a sock, I guess. I don't know why that's in there. Socks go in the other basket. This is another sock. Bad sock. The other glove. And these are more of the comfy... They're not quite thongs, but they're not quite like granny panties. They're just cute, and they have lace on them, and they look really hot on me. And I think that peach color really brings out the blue in my eyes, don't you? And last but not least, rubber gloves. Because you never know why or for what reason you might need a pair of rubber gloves when you are dealing with panties. That doesn't sound right. It's not like I have STDs or anything. I just get a little kinky and I like the feel of rubber. Rubber is the shiznit. I don't know. It's not like I'm wearing the gloves to do dishes or anything, but now I have panties everywhere, so I gotta pick these up real quick. And maybe tomorrow I'll show you my shoes. That might take a little while. That might take like eight videos or something like that. I don't know if you can sit through all the shoes and not... Did I just put my purse in the panty basket? Not get totally bored. I did. That'd be a hot thing to do. Go through Marla's purse. Okay, fuck the panties. Let's go through the purse. Oh shit, I spilled the palm tea. I'll clean up the panties later. Let's go through my purse. Have you ever wondered what's in a woman's purse? Well, now you get to know. I have my crazy prescription medicine that makes me go boing 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 it helps me lose weight I have my wallet we can go through that in a minute I have a receipt from HEB for um cat food and toothpaste that's not even interesting is it I have a bottle of Bath and Body Works lotion sweet pea a bottle of hairspray, even though I never use hairspray, a receipt for ibuprofen, cat food, cold medicine, that's not really interesting, that's my light up fuzzy pen when I was a waitress that I quit that job, have a something from Hot Topic, it says dead animals need love too, yeah I like that, scale animals, this is my dory pen, because a lot of people say that I'm like Dory from Finding Nemo. I have nail polish, which you can never leave home without. I have my $18 tube of lip gloss that I didn't buy. Chapstick. Some barrettes. A peppermint. Um, lots of gum wrappers in here. I should probably clean that out. Um, a lifesaver cream saver that is probably my sister's that I stole. Or maybe she gave it to me. I don't know. Here's another receipt. This one's kind of long. Wow. I bought a cake. I remember that. That was fun. Let's see what's in here. There is some money and some earrings and some taxi cards for when I start working at the taxi and directions to the secret CIA place that I went this weekend and a page from the phone book that I stole out of that guy's phone book when um, we almost got sliced up a few nights ago. I know that you watched that blog where the crazy cleaver lady like came after us. Okay, let's go through my purse. My wallet. I have a straight pin in my wallet. And every time I open my wallet, I accidentally stick myself with it. 
And I don't know why I like it. I'm just like a masochist. I'm, I know that it's there, but it's like a train wreck. I can't stop sticking myself with it. Um, I have a lot of change, and I have a lot of half dollars because this one old guy that wants to go out with me used to leave me half dollars on the table as a tip. I don't know. That's kind of weird, huh? Lots more change. Let's see how much cash I got on me. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine dollars after a party in this weekend. All right, now let's get to the good stuff. The old guy's number that always gives me coins. I'm not calling him and I haven't called him. I just have his number just in case I ever need a coin. All right, okay, this is the Puerto Rican guy that kept leaving huge freaking hickeys all over me that I was kind of liking for a whole second that now I don't like anymore because I should just be honest. I'll just be honest and say it. I found like eight phone numbers on his phone and it wasn't me. Okay, this is my $200 electric bill that I already paid. This is someone's phone number. Oh, that's my sister's, my other sister's phone number. This is a skater card because this guy works at this place and he gave me his card. This is a Walmart receipt for those other panties that I need to return that I didn't like that I just bought. I don't even know if Walmart will let you return panties, but they're going to take mine back. Gosh, dog it. This is for the brew through for clove cigarettes. This is... Lisa's number. Lisa's this cute little girl that has a crush on me that wants to do lesbian things to me, but she's just too afraid to admit it. Um, this is George's cell phone number. Say hi, George. Anybody want to call George? George is another Puerto Rican that, that works somewhere that asked me to come chill at his house and watch movies, and I was like, I don't think so. I don't chill at guy's house. If you want to come go out with me, we can go somewhere. This is my pawn ticket. This is all the shit that I am buying from the pawn shop. It's like Nintendo DS games because I'm a big nerd. And a necklace that I bought for myself for Christmas that has black stones on it. It's really hot. When I get it out, I'll have to show it to you. So I'm going to take my $9, shove it back in my wallet. Wait for the phone to ring. Someone's a scaredy penguin. And I guess I'm gonna go to bed. Pee first, then go to bed. Then get up at like noon and clean the house. So this is my last day to clean before I go back to work. So have a good Sunday. Go to church or whatever it is that you do on Sundays. And don't be naughty. Bye.